In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom sort in Power Query. Because in a previous example, I have shown you how to create dynamic other category. But at this step, I was not able to always put the other row at the bottom of my document. But that's what I explained in this video. So, how is it possible to always put the row for other at the bottom of my table? First, let's open all the existing queries and we can see that we have for the moment three queries and if I double click on this query to open Power Query and I go to View, Query Dependencies, we can see the architecture of the project. That means we start from the workbook and we have two tables, Cells and Country and we combinate these two queries to create the query result. So in this situation, what is a trick? To always put the row other at the bottom. So of course, we need to include a sort somewhere. But sort what? So here the idea is to start with a table that contains all the values and we create a reference. And with this new query, I'm going to transform this by a basic group by on the country and instead of count I'm going to write sum and I select the sum operation and for the colon cells the result is this one and I order by descending order when it's done I'm going to add a new colon with index colon from 1 so like that, I can see that France is in first position, UK second, Italy third, and so on. So here I'm going to call this query sort all country. Then, and now, I return to the query result and I add a new colon. And this colon will be the merge between this query and this one. I merge queries from result. The second query is sort all country and I create my relationship between this colon and this colon. Okay. So of course in this situation all this country exists except this one. So here I expand the content of the colon. What I just want to keep is the index and I uncheck this option because I don't want to have the prefix as column name. So here I have the index for all this country except for other where I have null because of course other doesn't exist in this query. So very simple here I'm going to replace right click replace value I replace null by a very big number and now very simple I sort this time from ascending order. And like that, other is obviously at the bottom. I remove this colon, close and load to Excel. Of course, he has created a new worksheet with the result of the sort of my country. I don't need that, so I delete it. But the fact to remove the worksheet doesn't delete the query and you still have your query but in connection only. It's a very nice trick. And now if I add a new country, for instance Denmark, and I refresh my query, other is at the bottom. I remove this too big country, control minus, I refresh, other is still at the bottom even if it's the biggest value. 